Hey guys, I'm Mariah from MariahMagazine.com and welcome to another episode of Website Wednesdays. In this video today, I'm going to show you how to kind of poke Google on the shoulder and let them know that your website exists because it's kind of hard to get traffic from Google if they have no idea that you're a thing. But before we get started, make sure that you already have a Google Analytics account set up. Uh, if you don't, I've linked to an easy tutorial down below in the video description. So just go ahead and click that and set that up before you follow this video. Once you have Google Analytics all set up, make sure that you're logged into the same Google email account that you signed up with Google Analytics to set up um, Google Search Console that we're gonna be doing today because it'll make um, the whole verification process for your website so much easier. All right, so I'm just gonna hop right into the screen share and walk you through the whole process. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is go to google.com and then just type in Google Search Console and press enter. And you're gonna click on this first result right here. And then it's gonna ask you to sign in to your Google account. So just type in your email and then hit next and then type in your password. You'll be taken to a screen that looks like this, okay? And it says, welcome to Search Console. So what you have to do is add your website here. So you're gonna wanna type in your website address. And then click add property. And then it wants you to verify your ownership of this website. So it tells you that you can upload an HTML file to your website, or you can click on this alternate methods here and you can choose the Google Analytics account to verify your website. So this is why being logged into the same email address that has access to Google Analytics is so important because it verifies it in literally like one step. So just click on this and then click verify. And after you click that, you should see um, a little like green notification that you verified it correctly. If you get verification failed, that means that it can't read your Google Analytics method. So you have to choose another way to verify your website. So an easy one is to also click domain name provider. So then you can select where you bought your domain name from. So you can do GoDaddy. And then you can click verify. Log into your GoDaddy.com account and it can verify that you own that website and domain that way. Once your website's been verified, you can go ahead and click on the property itself and then this dashboard will open up. And then you want to scroll down and click on crawl down here and click on sitemaps. Now, in order for Google to kind of know that your website is a thing and to know what kind of content is on your website, it has to crawl it. So in order to crawl it, we're going to add a sitemap. So go ahead and click this button here and this box is gonna pop up and you're gonna wanna put in your sitemap URL. Now, if you're using WordPress, you can get this by going to your WordPress dashboard and going to your Yoast SEO and clicking on XML sitemaps. And then it says you can find your XML sitemap here. So you click on that. And all we need is this everything after this backslash. So copy that and then paste that in. And then you can click submit right there. Now, if you have a website on Squarespace, that is not the right URL that you wanna send. Yours is just going to be sitemap.xml instead of that extra index part. Then you just click the submit button and then you have to refresh the page in order to see it pop up down here. So hit that refresh. And there you go, you see it right here. And then it'll tell you that it's pending and that the index is also pending. 
Okay, so now that you've submitted your sitemap to Google, it'll usually take around like a day to a few weeks for Google to go ahead and crawl your website and then be able to index it. It usually doesn't take the full few weeks, but I guess it just depends on like how busy Google is. If you're wondering if your website's been indexed or not, you can go ahead and log into the search console that we just go ahead and set up today. And it will let you know if it's been crawled, index and how many URLs have been submitted. That's about it. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and then um, hit that subscribe button over in the corner right over there. Yep. Uh, right here. Go ahead and hit that because every Wednesday I'm posting new videos on tips and tricks and ways for you to update your website and improve that online presence. And if there's anything on um, about your website that you need help with or if you have a suggestion for a video, go ahead and pop that below too.